Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the Babbel German program. I'll cover how the course is structured, what the lessons are like, pricing, and of course what I like and what I don't like. So if you keep an open mind and stick with me to the end of this video, this should be everything you need to figure out whether Babbel is a good fit for you to learn German. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. So I just want to mention up front here that since I'll just be running through this review quickly and focusing on the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Babbel German Review. That's a quick way to find it. All right, so let's kick this review off by breaking down how the Babbel German program is structured and what the lessons look like. I think this will help provide some context for my thoughts on their app. So, from a high level, the Babbel program is broken down into about 15 different overarching levels, such as Newcomer, Beginner 2, Intermediate, and even more thematic levels like Business German and Traditions. And within each of these levels, there are usually somewhere between 2 and 8 courses. Then within each course, there are 5 to 15 lessons that each take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete. These lessons are the building blocks of the program, and your goal more or less every day will be to complete a lesson or two. That's a pretty standard breakdown and a good example of what to expect. But in any event, across all these different levels and courses, there are about 250 hours or so worth of lessons to complete. And I know that sounds like a lot, but remember, you're learning an entirely new language and there is a ton of content to cover. So that's how the Babbel German program is structured at a high level. Then getting into what the actual lessons are like, which you'll be working on on a daily basis, I'll start with this. They're very short. As I mentioned earlier, each one is only about 10 to 15 minutes long and they go by super fast. Basically, each lesson is made up of around a dozen or so short exercises that come in a wide variety of formats. There's digital flashcard drills, fill in the blanks, matching pairs, listen and repeat type exercises, completing mock conversations, short grammar exercises. It's a very diverse blended approach that moves very fast. And frankly, as I'll get to more here in a minute, I love how Babbel throws the same content at you in a variety of different ways and really forces you to interact with the material. This is in contrast to other language apps out there like Rosetta Stone, for example, which just sort of hit you over the head with the same type of exercise over and over again. Honestly, you never get bored during the Babbel lessons and this fast paced blended approach makes the app pretty fun. So from an overall lesson perspective, Babbel definitely gets high marks. And by the way, if you want to see some examples of the Babbel drills and exercises that I just rattled off, be sure to check out that full detailed review that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Also, one other thing that I should mention about Babbel's program is that they also offer live classes. To be clear, these classes are not part of the standard subscription. They are an add-on, but they offer a ton of value. What you'll start to notice is that as you get farther along into the program, you'll have the ability to start speaking conversationally, but you've got no one to practice with. I mean, unless your partner or in-laws or someone you know speaks German, it'll just be you and your online lessons. Yet the best way to accelerate your learning and get over the hump is regular practice actually speaking. And that's where Babbel's live classes come in. Basically, the company offers hundreds of small group live classes per week across all different learning levels. Each class is capped at just six students and you're grouped with people from your own learning level, so the classes feel very intimate and there's no pressure because you're with others at the same level struggling through the same pain points. Honestly, these classes are an awesome way to really speed up your fluency and my favorite part is that because there are so many classes, you can basically pick the days and times that work for you and then drop in and drop out of classes as you want. Again though, as I just mentioned, these classes are not included in Babbel's standard subscription and do cost extra. And that's probably a good segue into pricing, which can be a very important point. So Babbel offers four different subscription options, a monthly pay-as-you-go plan, which costs $14 per month, a three-month plan that costs around $30 or $10 per month, a six-month plan that costs around $50 or $8.50 per month, and finally a 12-month plan, which is the best value at around seven bucks per month. And then if you want to add on those live classes that I just talked about, you're looking at around $50 to $100 per month based on which package you go with and current discounts. So, from an overall price perspective, if you stack Babbel up against competitors, they're somewhere in the middle of the pack. They're more expensive than companies like Duolingo and Memrise, but cheaper than Pimsleur and Rosetta Stone. Overall, for $7 to $14 per month, they're on the affordable end of the spectrum, and I would consider them a strong value. Not to mention, if you want to kick the tires on this app before fully committing, Babbel does have a 20-day money-back guarantee. 
It's not as good as a free trial, but basically serves the same purpose. Also, I should mention that those are just the full retail prices. Babbel does frequently offer deals and special promos, so be sure to check out the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts that I can find down there for you. Maybe save yourself a few bucks if Babbel ends up being a good fit. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful content all totally free, so if Babbel does end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you'd use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. And if it turns out that Babbel isn't a great match for you, it's no problem at all. I just want to make sure you get matched up with the right language app, and we have a ton of other helpful review videos that you can check out. Okay, so now that we've covered pricing and what the Babbel lessons and program are all about, let's get into the juicy part. What I like and what I don't like about Babbel's German program. And let's start with the things that I really like. Number one, I love the design of Babbel's lessons. They're fast moving, diverse, and just plain fun. For people that don't have an hour straight to work through a lengthy lesson and are just trying to squeeze their language earning in around life, Babbel is awesome in this respect. I just really like that the lessons only take about 10 or 15 minutes to complete. Number two, I really like how Babbel weaves grammar into their lessons. Honestly, grammar is a tough one for language apps. I personally think it's incredibly important to establish the basic grammar building blocks early on as you're learning a new language, but if you put too much emphasis on grammar, it can actually slow down your progress and stunt your learning. And I think Babbel does a really nice job balancing this. Their grammar snippets are short and they do an excellent job of subtly weaving these quick teaching points into the lessons. Okay, my third pro is the regular review sessions. Basically, every time you log in to do a new lesson, Babbel will hit you with a quick review session. They usually go by really fast and only take three or four minutes, but they're great for refreshing your memory and making the material stick. Seeing vocab time and time again like this makes it sink into your long-term memory. Okay, number four. I love the guidance that Babbel provides. From the second you log in, it's clear exactly what lesson you're on and what you need to learn. I personally hate those kind of courses that are self-driven and up to the user to decide what to study and when. I sort of want my hand to be held throughout the process, and Babbel's great about this. Your progress through the course is clear as day, and you never feel lost or confused. It's just a very smart, streamlined setup. Plus, their user experience is awesome with a modern interface and a sleek look. Okay, so last up here, I like that Babbel uses a lot of English directions and translations. Not all language companies out there do this. Rosetta Stone, for example, is big on immersion, meaning very, very little English is used. And I get the merits of the immersion argument. But when you're learning a new language like German, which is very difficult and different from English, and you're just thrown into the fire, it can be frustrating. So I like that Babbel guides you with English directions, which only fade out as you get farther along into the course. All right, so that covers my pros. Now let's turn the tables and talk about the things that I don't like about Babbel. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free language learning subscription to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a free subscription to Babbel. Okay, so first up, number one. I feel like Babbel isn't that great about developing your conversational skills. Don't get me wrong, there's verbal practice exercises where you repeat words and phrases, but they're just sort of limited. There's no full-blown mock conversations or extended speaking exercises. A lot of times it was on me to try to conceptualize in what context I would actually say a phrase after I just learned it. I'd have to imagine the scenario when I'd use it, then practice with a sort of made up back and forth with myself. This is in contrast with a couple other language programs out there like Pimsleur and Rocket Languages who lean heavily on mock conversations and audio practice. I guess to me, I'd like to just see more robust speaking exercises. All right, number two. My second gripe is that as you learn new vocab in the Babbel program, it'll capture your new words under a vocab tab in the practice section. This allows you to go in in between lessons and practice those phrases that you've already learned. It's actually a cool tool that I used almost daily. But my complaint here is that this vocab feature doesn't capture everything you've learned. After a lesson where I learned, say, seven new words and phrases, it would only show four or five of them in there. So overall, I like this vocab practice tool. I just wish it captured everything. It was just a little frustrating to see only some of the stuff you've learned so far. Okay, so last up here, number three, the live classes. As I mentioned, as you start getting into the intermediate and advanced lessons, you're going to want to start practicing a bit by actually speaking with other people that are fluent or at least at your own same level. Honestly, it's what's going to be the difference maker in pushing your German over the edge. And Babbel's live classes are just a touch expensive. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love their live classes. The small class sizes and offerings and intimate feel are great. But at $50 to $100 per month, it's just a little steep. 
It's literally five or 10 times as much as the cost of the base app. So it'd just be nice if these live class passes were just a bit cheaper. Though again, check below for discounts. Sometimes you can catch Babbel Live on sale, making it well worth it. All right, so that about does it for the detail in this review. Overall, I was a really big fan of Babbel's German program. I love the diversity of their drills and exercises and the fact that they only take 10 or 15 minutes to complete with a quick review session between each. It makes them very manageable. Also, I like that they include English directions and translations as well as subtle grammar instruction throughout. And their structured guidance is great on walking you through the whole program. Yes, I do have a few minor complaints with their program like the lack of in-depth speaking exercises, but by and large, I think Babbel is a really effective and fun option for those looking to learn German. Plus, it's hard to argue with that price tag. At $7 to $14 per month, Babbel is one of the more affordable options on the market. So overall, I give them high marks and wouldn't hesitate to go with Babbel to learn German. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And if you want to see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, make sure to hop on over to our website, testpreppinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.